Hey y'all, I'm back and as you can probably notice, I'm wearing a mask and I'm not in my usual um, space. I'm actually at uh, a makerspace I'm a member of uh, here near where I live. And today I'm here because I've been working on some really cool stuff. So this is gonna be the first devlog where I'm actually, you know, out and about, kind of like not in my actual space. So um, let me know what you all think about that uh, down in like comments, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna walk us in here and you'll be able to see what I've been working on. So you can probably hear it, but I'm turning you around here real quick. And you all can see, I am laser cutting on a glow course. So recently I've been coming up with um, some new designs and um, it's really cool that I now have access to a laser cutter that I can use um because it allows me to well very quickly prototype a lot of different things that i had cut in before now I have that i've been working and i've been experimenting with some stuff and uh yeah i guess that's what i'm going to be covering i guess in this video just a little bit about what i've been learning and stuff like that so one of the really cool things about laser cutting is how fast uh, it can be for different materials um it really depends on the thickness but um it's it's just crazy how fast i can get a prototype um, cut out. Another really, really incredible thing that I really love about laser um, cutting is how accurate it can be. Uh, the accuracy of a laser cut is so much greater than I could ever hope to achieve, you know, at home on my 3D printer, which you all have seen some of my 3D prints um, in the past. I've been, I've been messing around with engraving because it's really interesting because you, your laser, instead of obviously, instead of cutting through, you're basically cutting slight deep, slight, slight gashes in it to kind of get some sort of engraving. So I've been working on that. And what I'm actually cutting right now is a new design. So I've been designing my own lube station because um, I don't actually have one like to lube my switches and stuff. And then the more and more I thought about it, I was like, wouldn't it be cool to design one and, you know, potentially make the files available for other people and then maybe even offer to uh, to sell it on my Etsy store. So if I like my design enough and feel like it's worth people paying for, I'll put it up there. If not, I definitely will still release the files. Um, so that way you all can take a look at it. So there's a couple things I'm working on today. One, a newer revision for my current lube station that I've designed. And two, um, plates for the Flygon 60 PCB that I've currently been designing. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll put a link to it down in the description. Make sure you look at it because it's a really awesome design so far. So this is my first attempt at the plate design. And on this camera, it's gonna look a little bit rounded because this is a GoPro, but it looks really incredible. Like just take a look at it. Um, like the accuracy, if you just see how accurate these like screw hole cutouts are, and each one of the individual switch holes, uh, the stabilizer cutouts, like they're just amazing. And uh, I've tested it. So the Flygon 60 PCB, which is right uh, here, I already have it down in this case. Uh, it's not screwed in, but um, it's down in this case. And this is a cheap 60% case that I could get off Amazon uh, quickly. Um, and if you see, like, look, it, it fits and it fits really well. Um, so this wood I actually used for it, this is walnut. Uh, I'm gonna try cutting another piece of wood um, as well. Gotta figure out what I want. I might try like some teak or something like that. Um, but yeah, it looks it's come out really good so far. So, I mean, that's pretty much what I've been doing with that. And now that I showed you all the plate I was working on and some cutouts that I've done with that, uh, here in just a second, the newest revision to my lube station should be finished being cut and I'll show you all that on camera as well. Now that all the laser cutting is done, guys, just look. I peeled off one side of the uh, the, the protective paper, and man, this looks so good. Uh, this is, I think, my third revision. Um, basically, with this revision, I just made it larger, hold more switches. So I think it holds, um, I think it's like 71, 72 switches, something like that. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool. So I'll have to chuck some rubber, some nut slip feet on it later and test it out. See how I like it, so that'll be awesome. And then, oh man, look at this. This is a bass. I went ahead and cut a basswood plate. I showed you all earlier the, uh, I showed you all the walnut one. And I went ahead and cut a basswood one and it looks so good too. Like, it's just such a nice light wood and it just looks incredible. And again, just like the laser, the, like the accuracy of just these laser cuts just looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna have to uh, 
I guess I'm just gonna have to play around with uh, with these. And uh, yeah, you'll see the plates soon in the build. Uh, and maybe I'll release these Switch files and uh, maybe even sell them, who knows. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me this time. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. If uh, you really like the content on the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe uh, for content like this and other coding stuff and things that I'm into. All right, guys, well, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all later. See ya.